everybody welcome back um as you can see i got my evaporator in here the reason i got it in here i'm gonna do some modifications on it um i got a bigger pan for christmas i believe it's an 18 by 34 inch pan six inches deep uh it's 18 gauge steel hemmed at the top um so what i want to do is make the firebox smaller I'm going to keep it from the door back about 18 inches. Uh, that's because I keep cut 18 inch logs, 18 to 16 inch. Uh, put it back right here and then have it go straight across so the heat comes up and across and kind of goes along the bottom of the pan. I haven't decided if I want to close these holes off and uh, Just put the pan on top of that because I really don't want any scorching on the pan itself. Uh, leaving it open I think would do that. That's what happened with my buffet pans when I had them. Um, so I haven't thought about that. If I leave it open, I'm going to put some angle iron around to hold the pan on with some uh, fire rope, but that's a little more expensive. But I do have some scrap sheets from when I made this still sitting back there. And I'm leaning more on to closing these off, but we'll see when we get there. But right now, uh, working on the firebox. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and level this off the best I can and make some marks, do some measurements and some cutting. Stick around. As you can see, fairly close to some level. Probably gonna add a couple more shoes underneath this to get this more level. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and mark 18 inches from that bit. Uh, mark it with the paint pen just to kind of get an idea of where I want this to be. I'm gonna take this. I don't remember the size, 24 by 48. Hope that's enough to uh, slide that in there and see where I got uh, where it's going to fit snugly in here. Pen's a little runny. Yeah, of course, can't fit this sheet in here. So I might have to do some cutting, which I'm not happy about. I might have to cut the centerpiece out of this right here, just to get this in here. I really don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I always weld it back in too. And if they're going to cut that, I'll try to get the sheet in.
Okay, so what I did was cut that sheet down. Um, I want 41 inches from the back. And uh, cut that section off right there. And then I cut them in half to get it in here, which, I mean, that's gonna work out pretty good. Uh, I got these angle irons right here, these little ones, you about that from working. So you kind of see what I'm gonna do here. Um, this should be about 18 inches from here to there. I might move it back a little bit more. Uh, maybe it's about 19 inches. That way I could get an 18 inch log in here. Uh, so yeah, what I'm gonna be doing is in the front here, where it's open, I'm gonna cover that. I gotta figure out how I'm going to get this to curve, maybe get like a cardboard, piece of cardboard and just try to make a template and then weld that piece on there. Um, and it's gonna go all the way back. This top plate's gonna go all the way back to there. I can lay some brick on top of here too. Just uh, absorbs some heat. Still haven't decided if I want to close this off. I'm leaning more towards keeping it open. I just would hate to scorch that pan. Because uh, I really like it. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and uh, call it a night right now. Uh, it's tomorrow's New Year's. We're supposed to be getting some snow. Uh, so I'll probably get called into work. So I'm just going to throw a couple rounds in the fire. Uh, might do some, might come back out and do some work. I know I got something waiting for me too. So. I'm back out here, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna tack these angle irons, angle irons on, and then uh, set it in there and just see how it looks. I'll probably call it a night. I can start back up tomorrow. I gotta go back to the store and get four more of these angle irons. Uh, two for the other sheet and then a couple extra for other things. So. Getting all my welding gear. Uh, my welder is just a little flux core welder. 110. Uh, Chicago Leisure from Harbor Freight. It's not high end or anything, and I'm a very terrible welder. So it just has to hold. It's not for support.
it, so I'll probably tack the edges of this to the side of the evaporator. Um, not going to do that right now. I still got to get that back piece in there. Let's see how. There we go. That back piece in there. Um, like I said, I got to pick a more angle iron for that. And then figure out how I'm going to do this front piece right here. I do have a little log grate that will go right down here to hold the logs. Um, that hole in the front right there is for my blower just to keep air, just keep it hot. So I think that's actually pretty sturdy. Not bad. I'm going to call it a night. Um, might be back out tomorrow, depending on the weather. But I do have off until Tuesday. So I'll definitely be back Be back out again. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's now a couple days later. Uh, I came out here on Saturday the 30th. It's now New Year's Day. Uh, New Year's Eve yesterday, I did get called out for snow, or actually ice, and then had some late Christmas with aunts and uncles and stuff. But here's that other sheet. I'm just going to do a little bit of work out here tonight. Not too much. Um, that other sheet's in there. I'm going to cut that down. I'm going to take probably about an inch and a half off to make that about 19 and a half from back here to... The door just to make sure because we're at like a little more than like maybe 18 and a half inches that little gap right there i just want a little more room for my 18 inch logs um but i'm not going to be tacking any angle irons on there because i went to the store today and only had one piece left so tomorrow i have to run to a different store and get them so that's gonna have to wait, but I just put that in there just so I could kind of get a template made up of this curve, which this paper bag is for. What I did was I put that up against this back piece here and traced it and cut it out and just continue to cut down until uh, it's a, uh, it fits. I know it's 8 inches from the bottom, 24 inches wide, uh, so just a lot of playing around with the scissors right now. Okay, so I kind of got it how I want it. Uh, it's not 100% perfect. Here's what I did, just any extra pieces I had. I cut. Had to weld a little bit at the bottom, probably should have welded a little bit more. Or cut off, I welded and cut off. Um, which is fine. I guess we'll see once we get everything all welded together and everything. See how far off, it's about a, a width of my finger of the gap down there. I'm not gonna add any more metal to that. What I decided to do is just uh, line this back piece with brick. I do have some brick laid in the back here from that that was in here. Um, that way, when the blower is blowing, that brick's going to stop it. So instead of cutting an inch back, I'm going to think it's going to be closer to three inches back, which is fine. Um, that way the fire stays here in the front. And then we'll come up to the pan here. So we'll have a lot of flame here. And then it's going to come up right about here. Let's see, there we go. And then go across. So we'll still get plenty of heat on the pan. But yeah, I had no plans of welding or staying out here this long. And I think I've been out here for a couple hours already. So I'm just going to clean myself off and call it a night. Head back out here tomorrow, maybe. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this one right now, uh, make this a two-parter hopefully. I'm probably close to about 20 minutes of video time anyways. Uh, hoping I can 
I'm pretty sure I'll be back out here tomorrow. Little kitty. Uh, hopefully there's enough coals in there tomorrow to get a nice fire going again. And run to the store, pick up some more of that angle iron, get the, that piece cut down and tapped up. And then that'll start part two of this video of my update on my evaporator. So thanks for watching, stick around for part two.